Hello there guys, UltraGamer64 here, and today I've got kind of a new joint video. Um, this is going to be kind of an Ultra Gamer Talks About correlated into a story time. Um, this will appear in both playlists for Ultra Gamer Talks About and story time, so you can find it on either um, playlist or you can find it just on my channel, just normally. But I'm going to be telling you the story about my ingrown toenail, which just got taken out um, yesterday. And I'm going to be giving you some advice on ingrown toenails and such. Um, this is going to be a little bit gross because I'm actually going to show you guys some pictures of the toenail that they pulled out of my toe. Um, my toe right now, which is healing. Um, it may be a little gross. Um, it's going to be a little bit graphic in the way that I'm describing it. So... If you're a little bit queasy, you can't really take this kind of thing. I mean, I almost puked when I was getting the surgery. So if you guys can't take it, then that's totally fine. Um, exit out of the video and just wait for the next one or go watch another video of mine. So anyways, let's get started. Um, my ingrown toenail, I believe, was caused in gym class. Um, we were playing soccer and this really, really good kid was kicking the soccer ball. I went to try and block it from him, and he kicked the top of my toe. Like, this is my toe, and he kicked, like, right into it. My toe instantly turned, like, black and blue and purple, and it started swelling a little bit, and it hurt a lot. And eventually when the swelling went down, the color just kind of disappeared. I noticed that it was red on the side just a little bit, but it didn't really hurt. So I was thinking okay, well, what the heck is this now? What's going on here? So I just kind of left it go. And then maybe a week or two later, um, it just started hurting again. So it's like, okay, why is this hurting, you know? So I kind of took tweezers and kind of spread the skin away from the toenail. And I noticed that there was a jagged piece of toenail. So I took toenail clippers, tried clipping it out, and it worked, but sorely mistaken, I did not cut all of it, and that's one thing that you guys will have to remember. Um, make sure you cut out the entire toenail, if you do try to cut out an ingrown toenail, which I do not recommend. But anyways, back to the story. Um, about a month later, I noticed that it was severely ingrown, and it started like pussing and bleeding and stuff. Um, one day when I got home from school, and it's like, okay, this is pretty bad. Like, this is getting bad. So, um, basically what was hap- no, it was over the summer, my bad, not when I got home from school. That was stupid of me to say. It was over the summer. But, um, basically the skin where the toenail was growing into had flapped out, and it was growing, like, over my toenail. It's- it's gross. I'm not gonna describe it in full-on detail. But it was pretty gross and pretty painful. So one night I just kind of got tired of it and tried tucking it back in and it worked. Um, it was pretty much fine for the rest of the night and fine for about a week. And then eventually it did kind of spring back out and just go back to how it was. Which I just started like disinfecting it every night, kind of cleaning it up and everything. And it seemed to work. About a month before I got the surgery... It seemed like it had cleared up, like the redness went away, it wasn't swollen anymore, and there was only a slight bit of irritation, you know? So I was like, okay, I took care of it just with cleaning, and I figured that the toenail just died or something. And then when I started school, I started wearing these really tight, like, brown socks, like dress socks, you know, how they're like really, really tight and form-fitting to your feet. I started wearing those and some dress shoes, and that really, like, compressed my toe, so I guess that caused irritation. And the ingrown toenail began causing pain again. It infected my toe to a really bad point. And, um, yeah, that's basically how it got to this point. Um, yesterday, when I went for the surgery, which was a Wednesday, yeah, it was the 31st, but, um... Yeah, yesterday when I went for the surgery, I had to get shots to numb my toe. That sucks, guys. It really does. They basically hold your toe there, 
and jab a long needle into your toe and inject the numbing stuff. I could not look at that. I would have puked if I did. Um, I cannot stand, like, severe pain. I am not good with pain tolerance. Um, crap, what was I saying? Um, I cannot look at myself, like, getting hurt. I hate it. It sucks. It makes me nauseous. I feel like I have to puke and everything. So, I didn't look at the needles. That didn't hurt terribly. Like, it hurt, but not terribly. I'm not gonna sugarcoat this for you guys. I mean, it did hurt. There are needles going into your toe. It's gonna hurt. But, um, after that, the doctor just kind of left, waited a little bit for the numbing to take place, and then when it was numbed, here comes the fun part. He basically took these big scissors, like snippers, and just started cutting down the side of my toenail, and eventually just kind of cut it out, and he just put the toenail over in a little, or over on a, like, paper towel or something. And as he was cleaning it out, I looked over at it, because my dad was kind of like tapping my shoulder, and he's like, hey, look at this. So I looked down at it. My face, like, went white almost. I had, like, a heat flash. I felt really hot. I felt really sweaty. And I felt like I had to puke. Like, I just in in immediately interrupted the guy, and it's like, hey, where can I puke? I'm going to puke. I need to puke right now. And he gives me the trash can. I did not puke. I just, like, kind of dry heaved, I guess. Um, just kind of gagged, but didn't actually puke. I was fine after that. But, um, I did end up keeping the toenail because I wanted to show you guys a picture. So, here's the picture right now. And... I'm also going to show you my toe and healing, so here's that. Yeah, what do you guys think about those? Um, the toenail's freaking huge. I know the picture may not seem like it. I mean, I don't know how well the picture is going to do it justice. But that thing is so gigantic, and it's serrated, it's like... It's like literally in layers and it created spikes for itself to grow into my toe. It's it's messed up. I mean, nature is messed up. So now kind of getting into the Ultra Gamer Talks About portion of the video. Um, make sure to take proper care of your toes, guys. Um, do not wear shoes that are too tight. Don't wear socks that are too tight. And always try to walk normal. Those are main things that can cause an ingrown toenail. But the one thing that I've always heard, make sure you cut your toenail like straight across. Don't cut it at a curve um, when it's going down into your skin. Do not cut it at a curve. That's partly what I did to cause mine. Um, let's see what else. If you do have an ingrown toenail, I would suggest telling your parents or someone about it. Just so you can get it taken care of. I mean, I didn't. I was stubborn. I was stupid. I mean, sure it hurt. But I thought I could take it, and eventually it just got too bad. So, tell someone about it as soon as you kind of notice, hey, my toenail is kind of growing into my skin. So, just be sure to tell somebody about it, because you want to get it taken care of as soon as you can. Because, the reason I'm saying that, I left mine alone for two months. I never tried to get it out, I never tried to cut it out, I just kept constantly cleaning it. And basically what is going on... It was so infected that he could not kill the root. So I literally have to wait to get another ingrown toenail so he can take that one out and then he can kill the root. Or I just or if I get lucky, it'll grow back normally. I literally have to sit and wait for another ingrown toenail to happen. You guys don't want that. Trust me. You guys don't want two ingrown toenails in a row, okay? You just don't. So, be sure to take good care of your toes, um, don't wear tight socks or shoes, and if you do get one, tell someone immediately and get it fixed. Um, the pain, the pain when you're getting the shots, it does hurt. I'm not going to sugarcoat it, it hurts. Not terribly, but it does hurt. Um, during the surgery, it really feels like pressure, like take your finger and just kind of pr press on it like on the nail, 
just kind of take your nail and your finger in between your fingers and just kind of squeeze it. That's kind of what the pain feels like, but multiply it by like two or three. Um, if you don't get proper numbing, I'm sure it would hurt a lot more. Like, you would feel him cutting and everything. I did feel him cutting. Basically, what I can describe it as, as like, th say this is your big toe. It felt like he cut open the end of my toe and was just kind of wiggling around a utensil in there. Like, that's what it felt like. And it sucked. And, like I said, when I looked at it, I almost puked. Don't look at it, guys. I mean, that's not a good idea. Unless you're, like, fascinated with that, and you're like, oh, what's happening to me? Don't look at it. It's bad. Trust me on that. So, that's really all I wanted to say on this topic, and that's really the whole story. Um, I will probably update you guys eventually on what happens with my toe if I have to go in for surgery again or if it grows back normal. I will eventually update you guys, but it probably won't be for a month or two. So be looking forward to that video, but also it may be delayed a little bit. But anyway guys, if you enjoyed this video, then please be sure to leave a giant like, and remember to keep on gaming, stay amazing, and I will see you guys next time.